The actinophryids are an order of Heliozoa. They are the most common Heliozoa in fresh water and can also be found in marine and soil habitats. Actinophryids are unicellular and roughly spherical in shape, with many axopodia that radiate outward from the cell body. Axopodia are a type of pseudopodia that are supported by hundreds of microtubules arranged in a needle-like internal structure. These axopods adhere to passing prey and assist with cell movement, as well as playing a part in cell division and cell fusion. Description Actinophryids are largely aquatic protozoa with a spherical cell body and many needle-like axopodia. They resemble the shape of a sun due to this structure, which is the inspiration for their common name, heliozoa, or sun animalcules. They range in size from a few micrometers to a full millimeter across. The cell body is largely vacuolated, with the ectoplasm consisting almost entirely of these structures. The endoplasm of actinophryids is often darker and denser than the outer layer, and can sometimes be seen as a sharp boundary under a light microscope. The organisms can be either mononucleate, with a single, well-defined nucleus in the center of the cell body, or multinucleate, with ten or more nuclei dispersed throughout the organism. The cytoplasm of actinophryids is often granular, similar to that of amoeba. Contractile vacuoles are common in these organisms, who use them to maintain homeostasis and control buoyancy. These are visible as clear bulges from the surface of the cell body that slowly fill then rapidly deflate, expelling the contents into the environment. Axopodia The most distinctive characteristic of the actinophryids is their axopodia. These axopodia consist of a central, rigid rod which is coated in a thin layer of ectoplasm. These axonemes are rooted in the endoplasm and terminate there, sometimes close to a nucleus. The axonemes are composed microtubules arranged in a double spiral pattern characteristic of the order. Due to their long, parallel construction these microtubules demonstrate strong birefringence. These axopodia are used for prey capture, mobility, and cell fusion and division. They can be flexible, especially when the organisms are starved, and are highly dynamic, undergoing frequent construction and destruction. When used to collect prey items, two methods of capture have been noted, termed axopodial flow and rapid axopodial contraction. Axopodial flow involves the slow movement of a prey item along the surface of the axopod as the ectoplasm itself moves, while rapid axopodial contraction involves the collapse of the axoneme's microtubule structure. This behavior has been documented in many species, including Actinospherium nucleophilum, Actinophrys sol, and Raphidiophrys contractilis. The rapid axopodial contraction occurs at high speed, often in excess of 5 mm per second or tens of body lengths per second. The axopodial contractions have been shown to be highly sensitive to environmental factors such as temperature and pressure, as well as chemical signals like Ca2 and colchine. They may also be triggered by mechanical or electrical stimulation. Reproduction Reproduction in actinophryids generally takes place via fission, where one parent cell divides into two or more daughter cells. For multinucleate heliozoa, this process is plasmatomic as the nuclei are not duplicated prior to division. It has been observed that reproduction appears to be a response to food scarcity, with an increased number of divisions following the removal of food and larger organisms during times of food excess. Actinophryids also undergo autogamy during times of food scarcity. This is better described as genetic reorganization than reproduction, as the number of individuals produced is the same as the initial number. Nonetheless, it serves as a way to increase genetic diversity within an individual which may improve the likelihood of expressing favorable genetic traits. Plastogamy has also been extensively documented in actinophryids, especially in multinucleate ones. Actinospherium were observed to combine freely without the combination of nuclei, and this process sometimes resulted in more or less individuals than originally combined. This process is not caused merely by contact between two individuals but can be caused by damage to the cell body. Cyst function and formation under unfavorable conditions, some species will form a cyst. This is often the product of autogamy, in which case the cysts produced are zygotes. Cells undergoing this process withdraw their axopodia, adhere to the substrate, and take on an opaque and grayish appearance. This cyst then divides until only uninucleate cells remain. 
The cyst wall is thickly layered seven to eight times and includes gelatinous layers, layers of silica plates, and iron. Taxonomy originally placed in Heliozoa, Sarcodina, the group's current location within the larger tree of life is debated. It may belong to either the Actinochrysophysiae, Axodines, or Daraphidomonidia. There are several genera included within this classification. Actinophries are smaller and have a single, central nucleus. Most have a cell body 40 to 50 micrometer in diameter with axopods around 100 micrometers in length, though this varies significantly. Actinospherium are several times larger, from 200 to 1000 micrometers in diameter, with many nuclei and are found exclusively in fresh water. A third genus, Camptonema, was named as a junior subjective synonym of Actinospherium by Mikurjukov and Patterson in 2001, but Cavalier Smith and Scoble preserve the genus. Heliorapha was also added to this classification by Cavalier and Smith 2013, which was previously the genus Ciliofries. Classification based on Cavalier Smith and Scoble 2013 in class Raphidomonidia Silva 1980 amend. Cavalier Smith 2013, Raphidophysiae Chatafod 1950 amend. Silva 1980s, L, in subclass Raphapoda Cavalier Smith 2013 Order Actinophrida Hartman 1913, Actinophridia Kuhn 1926, Actinophridia Hartman 1913, Family Actinospheriidae Cavalier Smith 2013 Genus Actinospherium Ritter von Stein 1857, Echinospherium Hovis 1965, Genus Camptonema showed in 1894 Family Heliorophidae Cavalier Smith 2013 Genus Heliorophi Cavalier Smith 20 13 Family Actinophryidae du Jardin 1841 Genus Actinophries Ehrenberg 1830 Trichota Muller 1773 Nomen Oblitum, Paratricha Bori Distrit. Vincent 1824 Nomen Dubium Non Stein 1859 References Gallery <references>